scenes from the July installation town hall. It was the final one for Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland and the first for New Kimbrough Commander Colonel James Maker. Hello, I'm Brian Spann and welcome to a special edition of Meade Week. This week we're taking a moment to take a brief look at Colonel Nyland's tenure through the Meade TV lens. But first, at the installation town hall, Colonel Nyland opened with the latest on Fort Meade's health protection condition. We closely watch the five surrounding counties, Baltimore County, Howard County, Prince George County, Montgomery County, and our very own Anne Arundel County. And we, we track the, pro, the, uh, the COVID progress in those five counties to make a determination on our own HPCon level. Um, as of this morning, um, one of those five counties was a high transmission rate area. Three of them were medium and one of them was low trending up. So, um, you know, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again, um, you know, you know, we might be done with COVID, but COVID is definitely not done with us. In his initial appearance, Fort Meade Medac and Kimbrough Commander Colonel James Mager talked about recent changes in defense health care and its effects on Kimbrough. The defense Health Agency has submitted a report to Congress uh, with some recommendations on how we can ultimately get in line with some of what Congress has told us we need to do to increase the responsiveness, flexibility of the health care system. And there are some changes outside of the, the national capital region. region. The good news for us is that Kimbro is not affected. Congress has identified this as a critical asset, so the services that we provide for, for our service members, our families, for our retirees, has not changed, will not change. For much more on these topics, you can watch the town hall in its entirety. Just go to our Facebook page and click on videos. As I mentioned earlier, this was Colonel Nyland's final town hall. The garrison change of command is July 27th, but before that, we thought we'd take a look back at Colonel Nyland's last two years. Major General Jones is passing the colors to Colonel Nyland, the incoming commander, charging him with the responsibility for the unit as its new garrison commander. I've also seen the scope of my responsibilities is going to be very wide. My top priority remains earning your trust through clear and consistent communication and doing what I tell you I'm going to do. From Fort Meade to our veterans, thank you for your service. We salute you. We come together in some uncertain times, and I'll be honest, the team uh, asked me uh, to reconsider whether we should gather today uh, to, to do this event because of the, because of the COVID pandemic. Four, three, two, one. Ah, yeah. Scenes from Fort Meade's annual holiday tree lighting ceremony. On March 15th, that's Monday, it is opening. No ifs, no ands, no buts, it is opening. Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland and military working dog Marco filming a virtual first pitch, which will be shown at the Baltimore Orioles game on May 15th, Armed Forces Day. It's not enough just to have great leaders who care. We need everyone on the team, we need everyone on board committed to getting us to zero. Zero sexual assaults, zero sexual harassment in our ranks. This effort is only the most recent in a history of partnerships between our organizations. Whether helping us identify a creative water solution that literally keeps the computers running behind the fence at NSA, or teaming up with Anne Arundel County and entering in a first of its kind workforce development ag uh, agreement to help improve spouse and transitioning service member employment options. <laughs> Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland tossing out a ceremonial first pitch at the recent Baltimore Orioles Military Appreciation Day event. I do uh, intend to uh, to pass those colors uh, to Colonel Sapp on the uh, on the 27th of July when um, the senior commander will be on post, Major General Pepin, and the uh, and the IDS director, Mr. Tindall, will be on post. Um, and uh, and it's been my pleasure uh, to serve this community, to be a member of this team, to be a member uh, of this community. I want to thank you all for your warm welcome, for all the support, for all your patience and consideration and, uh, and understanding uh, throughout the entire pandemic. Um, it's just been, I've, it's, been a, it's been an amazing work by the entire, uh, by the entire community uh, to keep each other safe. And, uh, and I can't tell you how proud I am of all of you. So thank you so much for that. Earlier this week, our podcast team sat down with Colonel Nyland for a final interview. That's coming up on a future edition of our podcast, Fort Meade Declassified. Stay tuned for that. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.